What's going on everyone? Of course I'm Bobby. Welcome to Feature Friday. This week we're going to be talking about a new addition to the notification set in Repair Shopper. Uh, for those of you that maybe didn't know, Repair Shoppers had a Slack integration of sorts for quite some time where you could set up a webhook in Repair Shopper and then enable different types of notifications and when different events happen like a ticket being created it would send that over into a specified Slack channel so that your team could see it or you could keep track of it in a, in a log of sorts if you wanted or just to be alerted when different events happen. Well, we've had requests that a lot of people are using Microsoft Teams, which is basically a Slack competitor in the Microsoft ecosystem. And we've finally been able to get it added into the system. So you can see on the right side of my page, or uh, on my screen rather, it's showing Microsoft Teams, and on the left I have Repair Shopper. So to, to start things off, you do need to go to the App Center, and then there will be a Microsoft Teams app card, and you'll want to come in, and in place of this Disable button, you'll want to hit Enable. Now when you do this, something will be added to the notification system. So if you click New Notification, I'm going to cheat a little bit, because I had some prep time already set up. But if once, once the Microsoft Teams app card button has been pushed and it's enabled, there will now be a Microsoft Teams column in the notification center. What you'll then need to do in Microsoft Teams is create a webhook. Now to do that, if you already have a channel created where you want the messages to go, you just want to click the More Options button, Connectors, and then once it loads here, the first option is going to be Incoming Webhook. Click Configure, give it a name, and then hit Create. When you do that, it'll give you a webhook here that you just copy to your clipboard, then come back over to Repair Shopper, and in the Microsoft Teams webhook URL, just go ahead and place that webhook in. Then choose any of the events you choose. For the sake of this demo, I have had, <laughs> uh, oh, I still have it, Ticket Create for Anyone enabled. Once you have your selections chosen, just go ahead and hit Update Notification Rule. And then let's trigger it so you can see it in action. So I'll go New Ticket. and enter in a customer. And you'll see right away, a new ticket was created. It has the ticket number, the subject, and the customer that it's related to. Uh, it pops over with almost no delay. It basically updates in real time. So yeah, that, that's what I wanted to show everyone is the cool new uh, integration we have with Microsoft Teams. For those of you using Slack or having never seen the Slack integration ever, the function is very similar where you can set the notification center up to send alerts over just like I showed you but in the Slack side. Uh, for those of you that are using Teams, well, guess what? You have a new path for notifications. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this week's Feature Friday. Uh, if you're still here, I appreciate your time. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.